Hello, my name is Caroline Barry, and I'm a PhD student at Emory University, Rollins School of Public Health. I'm lead author on the paper Behavioral and Socio-Emotional Outcomes of Legacy for Children, Randomized Control Trial, Two to Six Years Post-Intervention. Working with a team of researchers from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, we examined the impact of CDC's Legacy for Children program on behavioral and socio-emotional outcomes of children at third grade. This study is important for early childhood practitioners because improving behavioral and socio-emotional development among children facing adversity can have lasting impacts on their long-term health and well-being. What is Legacy for Children? The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's Legacy for Children program, Legacy for short, is a group-based positive parenting program for mothers and newborns who are experiencing poverty. Legacy takes a public health approach to improve child developmental outcomes. Legacy sessions include time with just the mother and time with the mother and child together. Through Legacy, mothers are given the opportunity to explore parenting goals among peers in similar circumstances, foster a sense of community, and build self-efficacy as parents. In other words, helping to empower our participants to learn and grow as parents. Trained program staff facilitate these sessions to promote responsive, sensitive parenting, and positive parent-child interactions. Each of these elements contributes to a parent's ability to positively influence their child's development. Legacy was implemented as two randomized control trials, one in Los Angeles and one in Miami, and participants included mother-child pairs who were living below 200% of the federal poverty line, with some implementation differences based on site and community needs. Fortunately, in 2019, Peru, Robinson, and CDC colleagues published promising findings on Legacy's effectiveness in promoting cognitive and language development by third grade. To extend this research, in the present study, we looked specifically at behavioral and socio-emotional outcomes at this same time point. What did we find? Overall, we found that children's behavioral and socio-emotional development significantly benefited from their mother's participation in the Legacy program. However, outcomes did differ by site. Externalizing behaviors are characterized by actions in the external world, such as acting out, displaying antisocial behavior, or showing hostility or aggression. One example item from our measure of externalizing asked how often the child acts without thinking. Adaptive skills refer to everyday skills needed to function and meet demands of one's environment, such as taking care of oneself and interacting with others. One example question from our measure of adaptive skills asked how often the child shares toys or possessions with other children. Children of legacy mothers in LA were at lower risk for externalizing behaviors and lower risk for poor adaptive skills than children whose mothers did not participate in the program. That is, legacy children had improved externalizing and adaptive skills compared to children who did not participate in the program. No significant differences by group assignment were found in Miami. In LA, legacy children's scores on our empathy measure were significantly higher than the comparison group scores. The remaining estimates for these outcomes were non-significant across sites. So what does this mean? This means that group-based positive parenting interventions, such as legacy, may have a sustained impact on children's behavioral and socio-emotional development several years after intervention completion. Improving socio-emotional and behavioral skills among children facing adversity such as reductions in externalizing behaviors and improvements in adaptive skills and empathy shown in this study can have long-term health and well-being impacts. The impacts of early childhood poverty are multifaceted and multi-level efforts, inclusive of income security programs, may have the potential to address social determinants of health and support sustained health and well-being outcomes for children who experience poverty. Programs like Legacy can be an important piece of the complex puzzle of early childhood poverty. However, sustained efforts are likely needed to maximize benefits over the long term. Thank you for watching this video abstract. You can read more about CDC's work on child development 
including Legacy for Children, on the CDC website. We encourage you to read the full article and hope that this contribution to advancing our understanding of child development and programs like Legacy continues the conversation and actionable steps toward addressing social determinants of health as well.